Hello there, guys. It's your girl, Belinda. I'm up in my kitchen getting ready to chef up that beautiful cold tuna casserole. My own, my own ingredients, my own twist, as I said in my vid first video when I was working out. And I'm also doing a fresh mix fruit salad. Okay, so let me do the flip side. All right, so my ingredients to my tuna casserole, okay, you're going to have some celery sticks. You're going to have some Goya pepimientos. And you guys see me doing a lot of videos with this kind of stuff. So um, keep track of my ingredients because I do use a lot of the same ingredients and, and when I do different twists. So those are those pepimientos that I used into those pasteles for Christmas, if you guys seen them videos. All right, I did over like 300 uh, pasteles for Christmas. Um, yeah, so you might want to check that out. This is something, it's a simple little ingredient, but trust me, it goes a long way with simple stuff in your kitchen. All right, so I have my celery sticks, as I was saying, my pepimientos, and I'm going to tell you exactly the amount that you're going to have to use for four people, okay? Maybe four or five people, or you could do uh, double plates like we do. <laughs> so I would say about four or five people, this is uh, the size you want to use for this um, beautiful, lovely tuna casserole cold dish, my own. All right, so let's start out with the measurements first. Okay, so you're gonna need uh, two 12 ounces of uh, tuna, light in water. This is my preference that I do. Um, never do the oil with this dish. Um, if you choose a different tuna, Star Kiss is the best one to use for this dish. That's the one I always use for this. But however, you can um, use some, some other brand if you like as well. Okay, you're gonna need Canadian Hatfield ham. And that's what I have here. And they're just the little round slices and all you do is just put them all together, chop them up in itty bitty dices. And that's gonna go right in with the pasta. All right, so we have, uh, we have some, like I would say about a cup. This is about a half a cup to a cup. Two plum tomatoes. I have uh, those gar uh, the beans, the garbano beans, chickpeas, okay? And this is just a small can because this is just for a simple cold tuna casserole. So that's all you need is a small 7 ounce, 7.75 uh, ounce of uh, Goya. And these are not, these are not Goya, excuse me. These are just the um, gam gambozo beans and those are the chickpeas. All right. So we also have pasta back here. Now, however, you can use any pasta it's it's your choice however i do use the muller's uh zitti and um these are the pastas that i use for this dish so i prefer these but again you can use your own pasta whatever you have in your kitchen is perfectly fine if pasta's pasta i mean if you want to do the same ingredient like i'm doing it you want to use your uh my ingredients up in the kitchen all right so i also have the salsón goya and um, I am only using one packet of that. And um, sorry, that lemon goes back there. I have charlottes. Now, what I do is I just grade the charlottes on my pasta when my pasta is nice and warm, as is. I use uh, half of charlotte. And um, I also have, this is a, one of the, my key ingredients that makes it so delicious too as well. It's that apple smoked provolone cheese. This goes delicious with tuna. You have to try it a little grated on your tuna or even slices in a sandwich. So delicious. I also have um, over here my fruit salad now. This is my little little basket here. I have a fruits and what I'm doing. And I'm just doing uh, just an ordinary mixed fruit salad anybody would do in the kitchen. Uh, you pick your own best fruits you like and you just mix them all up. That's pretty much what I'm doing. So I have sweet cherries. I have cantaloupe. I have kiwi. I have blueberries. And then I'm going to be squeezing some lemon into the dish and mixing it up very lovely with some organic powdered sugar. So delicious. And all this is cold. The only thing that gets warmed up is the pasta and I do let it cool down so that way it's considered a cold uh, dish. All right, so we're not gonna eat this warm. We're gonna actually let the pasta cool down and then we're gonna add in all these great ingredients and I'm actually gonna let the pasta sit in the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes before I add in all these ingredients. Okay, and then we're gonna smack it all together and it's gonna be super lovely. <laughs> 
all right guys and there you have it and um as i said earlier that's what i'm making i'm doing a cold tuna casserole it's my own my own twist and a fruit salad okay so something simple for the night guys so please stay tuned for all my videos and it's probably just going to be about three videos because this is something very simple um and so i just want to thank everybody for joining in on well, for joining in on my channel tonight <laughs> and following me and continue to support me. It means so much to me. So um, yeah, something super delicious, simple ingredients in your kitchen, guys, that you could just put together within 35 minutes, this is done. All right, guys, so I will catch you in a little bit. All right, 